Hello, this is Mike Reed of Big Mike's Kites. Today we're going to look at the Peter Lynn crossover bar. This is a brand new bar system. Uh, kind of good timing because Ozone just stopped making all its uh, fixed bridle stuff, including the uh, turbo bar. So let's go see how it goes. So the Peter Lynn crossover bar comes in a bag as shown. It can be ordered with a Peter Lynn voltage kite or it can be ordered separate. We're going to try it on different models of kites today so we can uh, get a feel how it does on different kites. All right, Peter Lynn crossover bar. You need a harness to fly this kite. Uh, I use the Peter Lynn radical harness. Uh, radical harness here. Um, the standard hook, spreader bar hook. Same use with any deep power kite. You see here how it's laid out. You got the two center lines here that's where your your left power and your right power connect and it comes down here to a, a pulley which in this case isn't really a pulley it's just a smooth uh, connector point less parts to jam and break and then your, your brake lines go to here and I'll set those up here in a sec when setting this uh, bar up, you need to put this uh, hand strap, which pulls on the brakes, around your ground stake when you're setting the kite up. I'll leave the rest of it loose. In this case, we got out here, we got ourselves a uh, two meter Hornet. We're gonna start with that kite. The winds are pretty gusty, uh, 15 mile an hour. Uh, new safeties this year, this one's a push forward. Uh, safety release so if you push that forward it releases you also have this one here you can pull to release that one um, and then uh, the one thing I did notice with uh, the bar is comparable to bar uh, handle flying you need to have a few more miles an hour wind for the bar to work if you got no wind you're you're just not gonna do it with this bar so all right we'll hold the brakes Oh, hold the brake underneath, underneath. Oh, yeah. There you go. Alright, so. So, when you're flying with the uh, Peter Lynn crossover bar, uh, if you got the bar all the way out like this, you basically got no brakes. Uh, the brake lines just go real slack. It's real easy. It'll just kind of, the kite will just kind of sit up there. Uh, if you want a, some power, you pull it down and now you got brake input. And you can turn the kite at that point and get dragged around wherever you want. Uh, this is real good for like bugging or landboarding. Now you've got the pressure off of your arms. As long as you're pulling down, you've got steering. Um, makes a big difference. Okay, now I'll zoom out. And get it. I don't know if you can tell, but the brakes are loose right now. There's no power on the kite. I pull the bar in, it turns the brake. If I was flying with arms only and not with the with the harness today, it'd be a lot different. It'd be a lot harder uh, to control, and uh, I'd be worn out in real real short time. Now to land it, go back to the bar. To land it, you just grab this handle here and pull down. Now I got Will flying. He's a little crazier pilot than myself. So this is a Hornet 2 meter. Uh, the reason I picked this kite is it's very, very windy today. And it's probably the best kite there is for wind like this. All right, Will, hold on. So to reverse launch, like we are upside down now, Pulling the brake brake then the big brake. There you go. And now rotate it. There you go. Back up a little. You're close to that tree. 
Back up, back up. So you see he's got it rested. He just got it all the way out. No brakes in it. He pulls down on the bar and starts to turn. It, the kite will start uh, behaving. But if you want to rest, you just let the bar loose. And it's just going to go all the way back up to the top like, like he's got right now. And the kite's just going to sit there. Okay. Pull down and you can start steering it. Very responsive. Of course, it's a very windy day. Um, but it's uh, doing what it's designed to do. I had other kites to bring out, but they're a lot bigger. Uh, I think we get the idea with the bar, what the bar can do. Uh, like I said, it'll, it'll turn your it'll turn your kite boarding, land boarding, your uh, buggy session into a much longer session because it takes all the weight off your arms. Now, Will, you can just spin that and undo it. I know. No, no, just spin the bar, but bar itself. Let go of the bar and then spin it. There you go. So he's just spinning the, 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 the twist out of it. He had quite a few of them. There you go. Just stand right there, don't move. I want the operation of the... So you see what's going on here with the, all the different pulleys and stuff. It's hard to see, but you know, it's quite a bit of action going on here. You got a center pulley right above the red cap. That goes between the two power lines. The two power lines are the center lines. Then on the outside, the, the line comes down to these outside connection points, which there's one right there, and there's one right over there. All right, these connection points, there's another Ronstan pulley uh, that actually doesn't have a pulley, but it's a, a smooth bore. Um, it is a pulley, but it doesn't have a wheel to it. And uh, that's what they're going to now on all, the, all their kites. Um, it's it found out there's less wear. There's nothing to you know jam in there you know you can't get little dirt and stuff jammed up in your your pulley wheel and then uh, you know you got two connection points for the brakes on the outside uh, I got them on the inside one closest to me uh, what that does for you is uh, it gives you better uh, more lively turns you could go outside if you want a little less lively uh, with the wind today we could probably do that and be fine but I think it's more fun with it this way what do you think, Will? Huh? All right, you want to land it? All right, so to land again, we're just pulling down this. And uh, it's gonna, with the wind today, it's gonna behave a little funky, like a dead bird. But eventually he'll get it now. All right, so that's it. The Peterland crossover bar looks like a winner.